Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, let's introduce myself. So, as uh, it is right, and I'm an enterprise architect at Sustainal, but uh, mainly at international retail banking services. So, uh, let's see what is exactly uh, international retail banking services for Societe Generale. So, international retail banking services, it's a, 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 service, a service unit that serves three uh, business units, Europe, Africa, Mediterranean, and overseas, and, 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 and also Russia. So it's uh, overall uh, 45, uh, uh, 45 banks and 36 countries, uh, and uh, it represents uh, uh, 18.5 million of uh, customers uh, around uh, these uh, 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 banks. Uh, I have more, more figures. I have, I have just uh, a moment, please. Uh, just from the last Q3 result from uh, Societe Generale that has been published, and, and it, it is in quite important that to see that it represents, in fact, uh, 4.1 billion revenue uh, and 855 uh, net income for just for the next nine first months of this year. So this uh, was quite impressive, and, and also uh, it has been highlighted that the, 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 the growth of this uh, region is very important comparing the, the, the rest of the Societe Generale. Uh, the growth was 10% uh, uh, for this next nine months, and the, 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 the ratio that is uh, return on equity is uh, about 17.2, uh, uh, that is very good, uh, David, good uh, ratio for, for this country. So it's, it's quite above the, the, the average of the, the, the group, and it's normal because uh, it is becoming the engine, I would say, the future engine of the uh, Societe Générale grow. And grow, we are speaking about, and it was last year when the our president, uh, chief executive officer at Société Générale, Federico Coudéa, presented strategic plan. Uh, it was name, transform to grow. In, in, in that, in that sentences, we have grow, of course, <laughs> and grow. Uh, it's always uh, an objective, a goal. It's quite impressive because they, they want to achieve uh, some uh, uh, cost income uh, uh, less than 63 uh, percent by 2020. Uh, that today we are more around 66 uh, percent uh, of this ratio. But what is important in that sentence is the fact that we need to transform to grow. That's, 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 that, is, that is important. And, and the second message is said we want an open approach to develop offers and client satisfaction. So the, the key words in this, this, in, this, uh, in this sentence is this open, open approach. So not, no, no, he, he highlight the fact that today we have already uh, performed in very traditional way to, 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 to make the business, but it, we should consider a more open approach. That, that is the, the, its message. So now, now we have the vision. Why uh, open banking pla and, and platform? So, so open banking, is definitely a mean. It's an opportunity that Societe Generale has captured for improving its time to market and enabling new business models. So since 2015, we have heavily invested in what we call open banking architecture. That means we start in first internally to decouple front-end, back-end with very modular services, uh, capabilities, and, and, and we are uh, uh, now in a way to, to develop more uh, external capacity what that could be toward platform models. What is in interesting is to see that uh, recently the Société Générale has been uh, uh, selected as uh, the most advanced uh, company between the 44 listed companies on the market share in the French market, uh, and it, it's not a hazard. So uh, the, the, it is now a long time that Société Générale is, uh, is developing its uh, architecture, and, and we are uh, recognized at, at it. So what is exactly 
op, uh, platform and open banking means. That because uh, behind platform, behind open banking, we can have a lot of things. And there are uh, uh, an evolution, I would say. Uh, and we have seen, we, we saw it's not uh, complete. We can say there are a lot more possibility. It's not exclusive. We can have also a combination of all the, the models. Uh, it's not uh, only one. It could be a, a, a mix of the models. But what we see the shift from proprietary models to open models. That is uh, mainly uh, the, the, the tendency. Today, we are more in open banking on proprietary, uh, proprietary models. That is the, 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 the initial step. We are uh, first uh, launching, for instance, uh, API, API catalog for better collaborate uh, in, in, inside the group so we can break the silos, uh, make it more efficient in using the API and so on. Uh, uh, increase the, the quality of API. That's, that's, that's the first way we are working. Uh, but uh, also now the banks is uh, thanks to PSD2, thanks to the, the, the open banking, uh, uh, as explained by uh, Tashika, they, want, they, they have to, they, they are the possibility to aggregate uh, all the bank services, their possibility to, to uh, aggregate non-financial uh, services and enrich the bank affair. But still, we are in a proprietary model. We are still, uh, uh, the value chain is mastered by the banks. Uh, we are still in a property model. And what we see is uh, also a possibility. We can also uh, increase the distribution power that is not new. We have, uh, 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 among our banks, uh, entities like consumer finance that are doing B2B2C to B2 to B2 to uh, for now a long time. But what is new now, it is we can, it, we can make it smoothly digital end-to-end -end process that is new. So uh, it's, uh, it's offer a new possibility to increase the distribution power. Uh, uh, and also a model that the bank could, uh, could say is it the bank as a service. So we can uh, monetize our expertise, for instance, service like KYC, uh, identity, we can monetize that service for other uh, organization. And the last but not the least, I would say, uh, and the growl of open banking should be to launch a marketplace where we are neither uh, a producer, neither a distributor. We just put interaction between the consumer and the producer. So it is the, the most efficient for sure, but it is the most hard to, to, to launch. We, today it's not yet concrete. We are, uh, it is interesting to know that Societe Generale just bought uh, Trezor Fintech, that is uh, Mark as a platform uh, fintech. So for sure there will be some uh, uh, following on that, but uh, uh, today it's not yet uh, concrete. And this is enabled because we have API uh, as a product, but because also we have new way of working. I mean, Agile, we are speaking this morning, but uh, digital factory, uh, to industrialize the, the, the API, API factory, uh, we build communities, things like that. It's a combination of different uh, factors that make it possible. It's not only uh, because you have a product, it's, it's also because you have a different way of working. So uh, what are the key drivers in, uh, in this region? RRBS, uh, we have in Europe, of course, uh, the, the, the driver of PSD2, but uh, uh, of course, uh, a lot of banks want to go beyond PSD2. They want to enrich the bank offer. Uh, they have new business model, mainly bank as a service. Uh, they have to modernize the B2B2C models. In Africa, it's mostly focused on enhanced bank digitalizations because of the time to market, they want to deliver new features on mobile banking more rapidly across all the, 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 the countries. Uh, they want to offer also a new proposition for unbanking people. Uh, that is uh, on, on the way now. With, we have a launch a, a brand called Yup around the payment or the wallet. So that's uh, the, the, the driver. Uh, and we would like to, to make uh, uh, new partnerships uh, uh, even with Telco to distribute our product. And for Russia, it's more about cross-selling, the same as Europe, modernizing uh, B2B2C models. 
And for DRUMCOM, it's only uh, restricted to, I would say, PESD2 compliant. And this is make, so as I said, we need APIs and we need new way of working. Uh, I mentioned the fact that we build a lot of digital factory across uh, this uh, business unit. Uh, we, ha we have this uh, Agile scale program to work differently. We have Hackathon, we have some, we call it Bankathon. <laughs> That's different, but the same. Uh, API portal, uh, we will have, uh, we'll see later on uh, an example of that. Uh, community work, it's really important because, uh, in fact, open banking is very complex things that today we are not, uh, even in, in the specialists are not uh, saying what, what to do, what we can do. So we have to discuss together to, to exchange uh, the, the, on the market context uh, are different from one, from one country to another. So we have to, to build that community work. Okay, let's move to the uh, use case um, to the use case one. So it is the first use case that that has been implemented at Société Générale. It was in uh, in uh, in Germany. Uh, it's about equipment finance, so financing for uh, for big customers, but through vendors. So it's B two B to C model. And it starts with uh, implementing a B2B2C platform that is WS2 technology, uh, full open source, as I said, without support. And they start with local vendors. And, and now, uh, this concept of local platform has been a little, a little bit uh, replicated in, in other uh, regions, uh, but only for local vendors. And but they have also international vendors. So they want to offer to international vendors the way to have the complete offer for all the, the region. So now they will extend the, this uh, platform, WC2, to make it available for the uh, local vendors as well. So it will be a federated model instead of uh, uh, shared and mutualized models, so it's more efficient that to, to have a federation of uh, platform than uh, to have only one. Uh, the second use case uh, I will present is about uh, a bank in Czech Republic. It's very big bank, very uh, dominant on this market. Uh, this bank is on the regulation of PSD. Two, okay. Uh, so this bank uh, have uh, says this opportunity to build a, a WSE2 uh, platform to uh, export the APIs for the regulation, but uh, it also make them the opportunity to aggregate, as we said, it is very concrete, uh, all the banks uh, and also non-financial partners, so they, they can enrich the services. Now they will launch an API platform with, uh, with the community of developers, the fintech developers, so they are, will be able to uh, make it uh, uh, fast between uh, the, the prototype and, and, and the offers. So they, they, they close the gap between the ideation and, 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 and deployment. And, and then all together, that will make them able to provide, to enrich, as we say, the proprietary model uh, with new offer, but also to, to, to be a bank as a service. So they, have to, they, they want to launch the KYC as a service. Uh, so that, that will be, uh, and this platform will be uh, uh, addressing uh, all this. So this is really, uh, uh, really, really uh, good. They are quite mature. Uh, they, they are working uh, with WSO2 and they are quite, uh, as I say, uh, today uh, satisfied. So, um, yes, it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting to see uh, uh, what is going on with, uh, with this uh, use case. So, it's, it's so today uh, uh, almost already in production for the PSD2 and for the fine tech it will be, it will be launched in, 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 the, in the next year. So the, the, the third use case, the third use case is about uh, African innovation API platform. So because Europe, we said PSD2, uh, open banking, it's a lot uh, of, about Europe, and, and, but there are a, lo a lot of regions like in Asia, Australia, and, uh, and even in Africa, but it's different. 
In Africa, we are focusing in time to market, innovation. We're not on the regulator. The regulator is not yet pushing uh, us that to, to, to move. The, the, the people are, uh, are seizing this opportunity of APIs to make it more flexible. And so what is the situation in today in, in Africa? We have uh, uh, 12 uh, banks or 13 or uh, almost uh, the 12 banks that are almost the same core banking system. Uh, but they are, in fact, different. And it's quite difficult to scale a use case from one country to another. So today, we build uh, this API layer uh, we, to, to make it more faster. To, so we, can, we are able to deliver in a time to market manner uh, the, the development of, on mobile, for instance. Uh, and that, that is for the next step. So we have achieved this next step. So it is now in production, and it will uh, be now be available uh, and managed by the, the region. And now we have to build the next step, that is to open this uh, platform to find text to uh, other ecosystem. Uh, I speak about Yup that is more for unbanking people to so make the link between bank and unbanking people, things like this. So that's uh, the other step we, we need to, to, to go through. Uh, but uh, that's, a, that's a great achievement we have done, uh, thanks to, to, to the team, thanks to uh, uh, the partner we, we had in France to, to implement WSE2. Very interesting. And now the, the last case is about what we just speak about, uh, about compliance of PSD2. We have uh, the Durham that's it's not big banks, it's very little banks. They want to apply just for compliance. They are obliged to do because they are on the regulation of, uh, of, the, of the France, on the, on the, of, of Europe. But uh, they want to have a solution to plug and play, I would say, the, the, the compliance. And WC2 is providing that. So, well, we are still in uh, discussion on, about, uh, and so we are quite a little bit late, <laughs> I would say, uh, but not, uh, you say, do we, we can do it. Uh, so, uh, but uh, yes, so this, this uh, open banking is more the first step uh, for, for now, and we are, we are really l looking for uh, a, a very fast implementation that we could replicate for the four, uh, for the four entity. That's for the use case today. What, what was the, the, the journey the, of the partnering with WSO2? And as I said, it started in 2015 with, in Germany, and we had this first in bank implementation. So it works, and as, as I already shared with uh, some uh, colleagues, it was perfectly well for since, since that uh, first implementation, no problem at all. Uh, it's a good technology. Well. It's a success story. So after that, we have, uh, uh, I said, in, since 2015, at the group level, some uh, approach to uh, make uh, this open banking architecture uh, uh, concrete, and we start to standardize the, the technology. And of course, IRBS, we had this first uh, success story, and we said, OK, let's choose WSO2. It's an open source, and it's a compliance with, uh, with the policy of the group. Let's choose it, and they have choose it. So th that's, that's was made the, that was in 2017, and 2018 we, so we built a, a common uh, SG uh, framework agreement because we want to facilitate the life of the, of the entity, the, the banks. Also, we, we need to have some important saving on the, on, the sup on the product support because today the banks uh, want to want to start with support. They they don't want to to start uh, without it. They need to have the support. Uh, so uh, it's important to for for us to to have a good deal with the, on that. And that's uh, has been achieved in, in this year. And we have this first wave of new contract and uh, and it represents uh, all, on the wall uh, 18 banks of which uh, uh, 14 are. Uh, for the Africa, but uh, uh, and we expect for next year six new, more. And what we are now looking for is to extend the strategic partners with uh, with WS2. And when, what does that mean with uh, extending strategic partners? Is is now we need 
WSO2 to accompany us, uh, to help us to strengthen this strategy uh, inside the group. Uh, so we want to launch a community of, of users, uh, of experts of WSO2 uh, uh, within uh, SG, with other customers in, uh, in France or other region. Uh, uh, in, in connection with WSO2, we want to uh, also uh, WSO2 to help uh, the, uh, us to uh, build good APIs, uh, so that's, I have a lot of idea on it, so I will discuss on it. So yes, we need to, to do that job, and if we do that, if we succeed in doing it uh, uh, well, I think we will a lot more uh, for, 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 for the next years. So, yes. <laughs> The last, so at the end, why we choose uh, uh, WSU2 as a strategic partner? As I said, of course, because of success story, start always by the success story. Uh, we, the, we prove that it's a good technology, but it's not sufficient. We have principle, and we, 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 we find that uh, this uh, uh, technology uh, is not only API management, they have a set of uh, modular uh, capabilities and, uh, and overall we, are the, we, we saw that this uh, architecture is fitting our principles. So we have two principles, so smart, sustainable, open, modular, real-time. Uh, and we have the API first. And we want, as I said, them to accompany us in the transformation. We want, uh, we find very efficient people, because in fact it's important, the product, but the people also as well are important. So we find very efficient people and product and very innovative. And we believe in the same vision that uh, technology is not, an, uh, I would say, just technology, it's an enabler. Uh, and rather than a constraint. So. Uh, we want uh, really uh, to, uh, to open uh, uh, the possibility with the, with the technology, and we wish us a lot of success story. So that's, that's for the conclusion. So uh, that gave me uh, uh, some minutes. Perhaps I, I speed a little bit too much, but if you have a question for, for me, I will be very pleased to answer. Yes? Uh, mainly API management, mainly API management, because I said uh, we, found, we, we selected uh, WSO2 for API management, but uh, for Africa, for instance, we, uh, we use also uh, identity server, uh, and uh, not integration, because we have we own uh, development of microservices uh, plug into the, the API management. Uh, for the others, uh, uh, in Bulgaria, they have uh, the old stack, I think, uh, not, I not IoT, but uh, <laughs> they have uh, uh, the process, the integration, the API management, uh, identity server. Uh, yeah, it depends on, on the, the different uh, banks, they have different needs, and uh, of course we are uh, we, uh, it's the, the policy at the group is saying that on, we have different uh, categories of products, and we say that for API management, we have uh, two products, uh, two technology validated, WSU2 is one of, one of which, uh, but for other capabilities, there are different, uh, different technology and so on.